Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Toe. Um, I might be sounding very echoey because I'm right now at my new house. I just got in this place very, very recently. And I'm in the midst of building this up to making it a home for my wife and I, uh, Tiara. I'm sure you have seen Tiara in some of my videos. So um, a little update about this channel. Over the next few weeks, perhaps, I will probably be focusing a lot on home renovation. And I was thinking of just highlighting some of the renovation works as part of the content uh, for this channel. So any reviews, product reviews, product tutorials uh, wouldn't be happening for a bit because my headspace right now is pretty much very focused on making sure that this becomes a three to four months project. We are also in the midst of looking for an interior designer, uh, someone who can advise us on what to do in homes, you know how to do proper renovation, what to put on walls, what not to put on walls, our bathroom, our kitchen, so on and so forth. All very typical renovation types of project work. Now because renovation prices can go really, really high, uh, we do not have unlimited budget because we are two working adults. And being two working adults, we also have some budget constraints. So half of the renovation work will be done by professionals, like you know, contractors and interior designers. And half of it will be done by Sony, Tiara and myself. And things like some of the bathroom lights, I think we do not need a contractor or an interior designer to help us install. We can always do that ourselves. I'm not a licensed electrician not even close to that, but um, I do know a little bit of you know, dips and drabs on how to install light, ceiling lights and other stuff, uh, like uh, smart home devices and whatnot. So a lot of the content that goes into the channel from today onwards will be skewed towards renovation work. So to start things off, I'm right now at my master bedroom. So you can see it's all bare bones, right? Nothing here. Really, really bad bones, but we have our flooring, we have uh, some skirtings, uh, nothing on the wall. And this part, this big ass window over here. Now, because Tiara loves small insects, like bugs, right? She loves them so much, she doesn't want them to come into the house to pay her a visit. So we are thinking of meshing up this window over here. Now we've done a bit of research and some of the solutions that we have um, options to are like invisible grills, uh, mesh, those sort of things. And of course, if we were to call any of the services, it's gonna be a little bit expensive. We are talking about between $500 to easily $2,000, depending on what kind of decor, what kind of material that we are getting. Okay. So we also done a bit of research on some DIY projects that we can do on meshing up these windows. And we've come up with this very, very interesting option. And let's find out how to do it. All right, so I got this mesh tape from Shopee. Uh, Shopee, if you're not aware, it's one of the super app. It's an e-commerce super app in Singapore. or well, not Singapore, it's, which is available in Singapore. And uh, they have this mesh system, which is actually also being called an invisible mesh grill. So what I am attempting to do today is to mount this onto that window over there. And if you were to purchase, the mesh system, what you'll also be getting are these magnetic strips as well as this PVC strip. So essentially, what is happening is these magnetic strips are for you to mount onto the casing of your window. And then it will also be lined up with another magnetic strip, which magnetize which attaches to that one that you are putting on your window and then where there is the adhesive part pointing outwards will be where you are going to place the mesh 
And then the outside of the mesh is where you're going to put your PVC strip. All right, let's get to work. All right, I have already put the first layer of the magnetic strip. Underneath the magnetic strip is actually adhesive. So the adhesive part goes onto the window case. All right, it's all nice, straight there. Now, what I have to do is to line up another part of the magnetic strip. All right, I have to cut another part and put it over here. All right, so where the red paint is, I have to strip this off and the adhesive part, this is where I put on the mesh. All right, so now that everything is already done, I just have to put on the four corners and line it up with PVC strip. And make sure it's all really nice and aligned. And if you do things properly, this is the result. Alright, they also gave you super glue for you to reinforce the adhesiveness so that the mesh sticks on the adhesive part more securely. Actually, in my opinion, the super glue is not necessary, but it'll just give you a peace of mind so that the adhesiveness stays more adhesive. I don't know whether that's the correct description to use, but yeah, it just makes the adhesive uh, much more stronger so you can hold the PVC layer that you are going to put on the outer side. All right, so from this angle, if you're looking outwards, you can't really see that there's mesh, but actually there is mesh. So it's invisible. And because it is also nicely uh, layered, there are no space, no nook or cranny that any bugs from outside can squeeze into or fly in. And I do not know whether this size of the mesh, because it's like in really small grids, really, really small, it can even prevent dust from coming into the room. All right, I would really like to believe so, but we'll have to see whether uh, that's the case. So if I want to open up my windows, all I have to do is just to uh, remove one part of the magnet and push the window out and then stick the magnet back onto the layer and have it resealed. When you are installing the mesh across the window, make sure you keep it tight. Make sure it's not saggy and baggy in the middle so that one look you, you don't see any creases. All right, the tighter you pull it uh, apart, the straighter it becomes and the nicer it is. So yeah, that's it. Not too shabby. Now I just have to do for this, the living room and the toilet. Good luck to me. Yes, after a couple of hours, I finished installing in one, two, three rooms. No, two rooms, the living room, the beach room, and the two bathrooms, two toilets. Um, so far, what I've observed is that the magnetic streams, they are quite strong. And the adhesive part, the other outer layer of the magnetic stream, it's also kind of strong. So you don't have to worry about the quality. And what I also like is that uh, for first time buyers on the mesh system, they gave you a shear as well as a small pen knife. Although the quality of these tools are not really awesome. Uh, having this for free is really beneficial. 
Yeah, I like that they simply do this. They've also told me that this is only for first-time buyers, for th- first-time purchase. Consecutive purchases, you won't get this anymore. So you cannot expect your second shipment or your third shipment to have this included as well, right? Something for you to think about. Looking at the mesh system and how it's being priced, I'll say this is really awesome. And it deserves a tic tac stamp of approval. I mean, uh, you save on the Walkman chip. It's pretty easy to install. They have video guides for you to follow. They have picture or illustrated guides for you to follow. The instructions are simple. Uh, the entire mesh system isn't complicated. Uh, if you have the need to install the mesh system for an entire house, a four room house, similar to mine, I'll say it will take probably between two to three hours. I think once you've gotten around installing the first one, you've already gotten the hang of it. The second window and the third window onwards is going to be a little breezy for you. So yeah, I fully and highly recommend the mesh system for anyone who wants to install a mesh system in the house, especially on windows. Oh, if you have cats and dogs, this will definitely be a real help, right? Rather than getting those super, super expensive solutions. This is something which you can definitely consider. And especially if you are on a budget constraint, someone similar to me, always having budget constraint, this is going to be helpful for you. All right, that's it for the invisible mesh DIY one that I got from Shopee. Uh, all the links to where to purchase this mesh system right there in the description box down below. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this renovation DIY series that I am trying to put forth. A lot more is going to happen. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. For more of these kind of videos, stay tuned for the next series of videos because that's probably what I'm going to feature in this channel. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.